So here's some 3D printing here uh, yeah. with the Owlworks. Yeah. So who are you? Uh, Owlworks is a small startup. We started our business uh, maybe eight months or so ago. It's still startup stage. We are trying to provide a new resin 3D printer for individual and Soho entrepreneurs. So you make a larger, easier, faster? Yeah. You make a large? Way. What's going on here? Actually, this size is the largest build volume. Yeah? This can you can you bring it up? This, one, this is the largest what? Largest build volume desktop resin 3D printer ever. It's very detailed, huh? Uh, yeah. It's in plane resolution is 170 micron and G height resolution is 25 to 200 micron. This is this looks really nice. Which one is that? Which church is this? It's on Cathedral de Notre Dame. Notre Dame, yeah. Yeah. And uh, how long time does it take to to uh, create one? Yeah. Did you make this today? Uh, actually, yesterday afternoon we started and we get this print out. Uh, Morning. So, How does it work? Okay, uh, let me introduce a structure. Yeah. It's a resin tank for the resin. It's a raw material. We are using a maker juice, and you can use any kind of resin. You will okay. curable photo resin, pour it, and then down the plate to sink out the resin, and then turn on the okay inside. Inside turn, the stuff. Yeah, yeah, inside. Turn on the LED light. Yeah. Then put the image to the LCD between the LED light to the and the LCD tank, the resin tank. Nice. Then the image can be projected onto the resin. After it's some times after exposure, then it is cured, solidified. Then it one process to make one layer, and then pulled up and pull down again to make some gap to make an, another layer so it's the same step all right um, how many layers for one church oh uh, actually we set a 100 micron to make it and this is on um, might be 20 centimeters then maybe how can i say 2000 layers and how long does it take one layer uh, normally 20 seconds. 20 seconds per yeah. layer? Yeah. And uh, after that, they change color or you spray it or how do you make the different oh, colors? Of course, they kind of post treatment. So you have all these different uh, demos you have, you're showing here? Right, yeah. Different demo, different design, different gradient. And complexity is can be very high? We think, we think so. So, uh, where are you based? We are based in South Korea, but we have a um, small office in San Jose. And uh, what's going to happen in the future? Are you selling these? Uh, yeah. We went on the Kickstarter two months ago, and we've got some funding from the backers. How many backers? Uh, 100. 100. 100 people buy it? Yeah, one, no, 100 backing us, yeah. and 40 people buying it. So this machine will be shipped next month to our backers. How much it cost? They already they pay? paid. They already paid, they paid for, for around four thousand US dollars. And some people would like to get this one. Visit our website <coughs> this weekend. Then we will open three other sites with limited quantity. That price will be US five thousand, around US five thousand. And we will start our commercial production sometime between March and April next year. Then the price will be higher. Then might be six thousand US dollars. So, what do you think about the ID Tech X show here? Did people it's come and great feel interesting? Because we are invited to yeah. the launch pad by supporting Qualcomm. Uh, thanks to Qualcomm and ID Tech, we met enormous feedback from the all attendees and some exhibitors. So, a lot of uh, business in the 3D printing in the future. There's okay. going to be a lot of things happening. Of What's course, going to happen so. in the future for 3D printing? Uh, I'm not sure, but we believe, I and my steps are believing 3D printing can make better world because 3D printing is a tool to release individuals' creativity. So, that's so, And combining different material will be possible? Of course, not for this machine, but we have a concrete roadmap 
to combine different materials, different colors, something like that. Electronics? Of course. Maybe? Mm. Should be. Should be. Of course. Cool. Mm. So, please keep an eye on. We are on a small startup at the initial stage, but we have a very big vision and we have a technology. We have a very good development step, steps. So, please keep an eye on. Support us.